Hi everyone, in this video I'll be creating this Niagara particle system from scratch. So first off, let's add a Niagara system, new system from selected emitter, and let's select this one, add it and finish. Let's open up the editor. And we can see some, uh, yeah, some sprites kind of floating around here. But we don't really want to render sprites, we want to render static meshes. So we add a static mesh renderer. I want to render a cube. And I want to override the material, set the material to something shiny. And I want to. Where is it? Yeah, change the facing mode to velocity. Also, in the emitter properties, I want to set the sim target to a GPU compute sim, and then hit fixed bounds. Next up, there's a bunch of stuff we don't really need. We don't need skill color, we don't need spread size skill, and we can get rid of the noise for now. But I do want to add a skill, skill mesh size, because they're way too big. And if they're too big and they overlap a bunch, they are going to glitch out like that. So let's actually create a curve and set the initial values to something like this. So they're small. And at the end of their lifetime, they shrink. All right, let's start to add some, um, yeah, some forces. Let's move it around a bit with wind. Let's add a point attraction force. And let's add a gravity force. That's good. Let's add a vortex force to get to create kind of a spin. And let's add it to something like this. Now it's spinning. That's at a noise force. Fix the issue. So this is where it get really this is where it gets really interesting, right? So um, the thing I've noticed with the curl noise force is uh, set the strength to something high and set the frequency to something really low to get these beautiful movements. And I can't see that much yet, but let me just increase the particles. Uh, yeah, the amount of particles. And voila. It's kind of messy still, right? Um, looks like a bunch of flies. So we can add another noise. Let's set this to minus 7,000. And let's set this to something like, something low, but something different. Oh, right. The reason why it's so um, all over the place, basically, uh, is because of the drag. I left the drag in. But you can see what happens as soon as I change this value from 1 to 10. They want to stick together in this beautiful, yeah, kind of flocking bird-like way. 
that's really the the the, um, the big brain behind this particle system, basically. It's uh, this drag force. And if we go to the the first noise force, we can add uh, a panning. So it just kind of uh, rotates the rotation around, and it creates these beautiful, beautiful motions. And I think we're done here. So let me just hit save, and we can drag this system into our world. That already looks pretty good, but uh, it's not reacting with the light per se. It kind of is, but um, yeah, because it's not casting shadows, um, it could look even better. So let's just turn cast shadows on and you'll see the light actually disappear into the particle system. And we can grab the light and we can yeah, move it around. Wow. Oh man, I love this so much. This is crazy. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I hope you have fun with it. Bye.